Art at Work. The award-winning musician has been touring the U.S., where he played at the New Orleans Jazz Festival, amongst other stages. Smith has also recorded his latest album, titled Time for Love, which is due for release in February. The musician is in town and performed at the Orbit in Bramfontein on Tuesday, and we just had to catch up with him before he leaves uh, Joe Work again. Ernie, good morning. Welcome to Morning Lab. Good morning, Lebo. I mean, how's Ernie Smith, the, musician, uh, the music man, doing? What's, what's on his plate at the moment? So much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Firstly, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. And just to correct one thing, I, I haven't given a public uh, announcement yet that I'm actually in, based in Johannesburg now. All right. Since uh, last year. Oh wow. Well, yeah, well, I had to. Well, what I've been doing is, like you said, I've been touring uh, the U.S., particularly New Orleans. Um, we're going back there next year mm -hmm. to do a, a hopefully a three-month tour. I've been working on my new album, which is set for release in in February, featuring. A few locals, KB, mm. uh, BB Winans, and a few other people. But more than that, I think my disappearance from the scene was really a recollection and a re kind of evaluation of my musical situation mm -hmm. in, 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 in the industry. By that I mean I have become an independent. Um, I have my own studios, I record a lot of artists, I produce a lot of artists. So I think it's been a road venturing on. Um, more becoming a business uh, businessman yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as such and really just growing the brand Ernest Smith to more than just uh, a, a live performer mm. but more of a business entity as well. How did your time in the US recently contribute to the space that you find yourself in at the moment? Oh phenomenally. I think in, in more ways than one. One being that um, I think every South African artist should travel. I think outside of the borders of South Africa, mm. because then we really value and, and kind of like have a better sense of, of what it is we have. I mean, I, I went there and I performed on stage next to George Benson, Maroon 5. And the thing that was highlighted was that they wanted more of their local sound. They wanted more of what we have, mm -hmm. that intrinsic, natural African flavor that we have. And I think that would help us to actually find a greater sense of value of, of what we have and not try to be American yeah. when the Americans in, in many, many a sense, especially the black Americans, are trying to search to find their African identity. So they really embraced the, that part of it. And also just to realize that the world is much bigger than the, the four borders of, of South Africa, yeah. you know, and there's a lot more scope. So I think it opened my mind in, in many ways. I've, I've traveled before, I've traveled a lot, but I think this time traveling as an in, independent was more empowering, it was more hands-on, it was more control in sense of this is what I can do and this is what I have to offer. So I think it, in, in more ways than one, it really was great. So yeah. what inspired Time for Love, this title and this entire album? Yeah, I think I was kind of like summarizing the whole South African situation, looking back at where we come from, from apartheid, the transition, the, the reformation, the revolution, um, whatever you want to call it. And, you know, my children, I have two, two beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. Israel and Zoe, hello, darling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it, it kind of like, um, I was inspired by the fact that we've been through this, we've been through transformation, we're going through transformation, and really it is a time for us to sit back and, and start to focus on, on things that are also important, like, like love. You know, we had been through tough times a few years ago, financially yeah. also. You know, they were really rough on us as artists that had to force us into an independent state to say, no, this is not working. You know, I'm famous, I'm on TV, I'm in magazines, yeah. but we, we were not doing as well as we could. You know, so I realized also having dealt with all of that, that it, it is time for us to, to show more love to each other, to our wives, to our kids, to people on the road, stop yeah. screaming. <laughs> you know, so I wanted to shift the focus and bring it back to that, that these are the things that really matter that we often take for granted. And I, re I remember the first song that I heard of yours was, um, it was one of the, it was a featured song on a soapy at some point. Um, um, don't hurt me again, love don't hurt yeah, me yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I mean, how much has that Ernie grown f from then to now? How much have you matured and the yeah. sound that we're going to hear on Time for Love? Yes. Do you, are your old fans going to relate to Time yeah. for Love? I think that's always a, 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 a scary thing in many ways because this is only the evolution of Ernie Smith but I think what's important as an artist is to branch out but remain rooted so this is not going to be an Ernie like who's this guy you know yeah. you got a ball in now and he's rapping <laughs> I'm coming to come down <laughs> no, this is Ernie that my fans will, will recognize right. but in a sense where they will definitely be 
there's growth, there's change, there's a lightness. It, it's kind of like uh, punctuates my life uh, where I'm at now. I always like to be honest as an artist. I don't want to be sing about something I haven't lived or something I know nothing about. So it will always be early, you know, but just a, a younger, better looking <laughs> haircut. <laughs> so who's likely to enjoy this album? Everybody. Mm -hmm. um, my, definitely my old fans. It definitely, I know people say this as a catchphrase that it will attract new fans, but I think it definitely, it definitely will attract. I've always been blessed in a way to kind of like have a younger audience as right. well as a mature audience because I think I'm young at heart and I want to always show that. It is less of a jazz album. I mean, mm -hmm. there's a lot of, 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 of jazz sentiments and, and guitar in it, but I think it's more of a vocal album because I think I wanted to say some things verbally. And, and maybe a little less on, on the guitar, but mm -hmm. it definitely has that cross talk and that, that, uh, that guitar and vocal element. All right, it. Ernie, thank you so much for talking to thank us. Thank you, Lady. Uh, singer, songwriter, guitarist Ernie Smith has put together his fourth studio album titled Ready for Love, which uh, he will release in February 2015. That's just now. He performed at the Orbit in Bramfontein on Tuesday, and we just wouldn't let him come in and out of the. Well, he's based in Johannesburg now without yeah. telling us about the upcoming recording and what he's been up to. More music from him later on the show so stay tuned